So by now you probably have heard that Activision has confirmed that there will be a brand new Call of Duty game. A lot of YouTubers are shaken, a lot of uh, Call of Duty players are actually relieved that Modern Warfare 2 is not gonna be the only game. However, there is a plot twist. Get ready for the plot twist because there are a lot of people believing that it's gonna be Van Garbage 2. And if that happens, oh, shit. Oh, shit. you know that Slushy will be shaken, okay? Only Slushy will be happy about Vanguard 2 from Sidehammer My Balls, Sidehammer My Games, right? But there are also rumors going around about Black Ops 2 Remaster, Modern Warfare 3 Remaster, Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. And I gotta say, it's kind of bull squash, but for the longest amount of time, we have been hearing that the next Treyarch game will be a Black Ops 2 Remake. Not a remaster, a remake, which is essentially gonna be a brand new game that's gonna be taking inspiration from that. Now, one thing they did mention during their investors report here, and we're me pulling this straight from Charlie Intel, is across the Call of Duty franchise, our teams are working to amplify the success of the fourth quarter with 2023 plans, including even more engaging live services across platforms and the next full annual premium release in the Blockbuster series. So, obviously, we're gonna have more seasons going on with Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, thoughts on this one? Because for the longest amount of time, we have been hearing rumors, and I wanna show you this tweet okay because the homie jason schreier uh he has been pretty credible right he says the main lol <laughs> you keep falling for the same pr language it's a continuation of modern warfare 2 it's called a full premium release because they're probably going to market it and sell it as a 70 dollars game with a new single and multiplayer content single player and multiplayer content but it's more of modern warfare 2 thoughts on this one we got more i gotta show you this too but they're saying right there that next fall we're going to be getting another annual premium release now previous reports have indicated that this was simply just going to be an expansion of sorts to modern warfare 2 if you guys recall we've covered some leaks and rumors over the months and years but going back to it it seems like they were going to remaster the original modern warfare 2 like virtually every single map from the original modern warfare 2 was going yep. to be added to this modern warfare 2 and they're going to make people pay for that is what the leaks and rumors were saying a long time ago because all those maps are in the game files a bunch of very credible leakers and industry insiders are claiming that that is going to be the plan now when we hear the idea of a premium release that says a brand new 70 dollars title is going to be yeah. coming out but if we go back to those leaks and rumors that we heard $70 $70 are you guys out of your goddamn mind your thoughts on this one everybody everybody gather on okay gather on gather on gather on should the next call of duty game be a full-blown brand new game or should it be a dlc 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 uh, i wanna i wanna know your thoughts because things have gotten so bad and I don't blame the homie. The homie 402 Thunder came out, says that Modern Warfare 2 is such a disaster, they're releasing Call of Duty 2024 in 2023. Lamel, I want to know your honest opinion on this one because a lot of people are also believing that it's just going to be a Modern Warfare 2 DLC. And if that happens, we're most likely going to be seeing Modern Warfare 2 uh, 2009, the original one. We're going to see its remaster maps come out in Modern Warfare 2 2022. And I'm saying, okay, that's cool and all, but can a brother at least perhaps get a full-blown Modern Warfare 2 remaster multiplayer drop a thumbs up if you agree and another point here is that some people are also believing that they can technically drop a full-blown Modern Warfare 3 remaster in between and drop this DLC and next year drop the the the, the next Call of Duty which is gonna be from Treyarch I mean I I don't know if that's true or not but let's check this about previously, which take them all with a grain of salt, the premium release might just be the expansion to Modern Warfare 2. It's not Sadly. going to be the Treyarch game that is set to come out the year after this. No, it's going to be an update to Modern Warfare 2, according to these leaks and rumors. And of course, like I said, they're going to be charging players for that, which I know is going to piss off a lot of people because you spend $70 Bruh. for a game one year, and then the very next year, they release a whole bunch of new maps and who knows what other forms of content, and then they want another $70 for an expansion as compared to a brand new full AAA title. Now, if we go back into the... Bro, I can go to China, right? now and buy every single dlc for two cents bro past, of course we used to have map packs right which a lot of people didn't like because it was an antiquated system that divided the community up and it sounds like this new expansion system could potentially do the exact same thing but fans got tired of this years ago we all got yeah. tired of spending back then 60 dollars for a game and then spending 50 dollars for a season pass to get post-launch content you know we were essentially spending 110 dollars right now it's 70 dollars 70 dollars are you guys out of your goddamn mind and, and i got this uh thing here okay and let me know how you feel about it like everybody gather on okay gather on the situation here is that modern warfare 2 is barely getting any content i, I know that's like really nigga 
I know that's not like anything new. You already know that. The more you know, you know that already. But the situation here is that it, it kind of makes sense because we're barely getting any content in Modern Warfare 2. And the only maps that we're going to be getting apparently are going to be remasters only every two months. Bruh. Two maps every two months, but those maps are actually remastered. You love that. We love that. Everybody love that. That's what Activision is essentially saying. But the situation here is that now the rumors are saying that it's going to be a DLC year two for Modern Warfare 2. It's going to be a $70 DLC. To me, that sounds kind of... I believe that right now because Modern Warfare 2 is not getting any content. And the only big and substantial content that Modern Warfare 2 might get will probably gonna be this dlc in, in like what october november that's gonna be 70 dollars. so it kind of makes sense thoughts agree disagree every year to actually get all the content for the game and it sounds like potentially according to industry insiders leaks and rumors take with a grain of salt Ow. this that, and the other it sounds like that could be returning but in a different way instead of calling it mm. map packs it's going to be an expansion of sorts that's according to a number of people so we'll have to wait and see how that is going to play out i mean leaks and rumors are suggesting that sledgehammer games of all people as well is going to be heading that expansion to modern warfare 2 and if that's what we're going the only thing that's expanding is their butthole, and the only thing that's expanding is their wallets, guys. Bruh. In the beginning, then what is Infinity Ward going to be working on? Like, why would Infinity Ward not be heading the expansion to their own game? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but we all know that the Call of Duty cycle is one that never stops turning, and as a result, it's entirely possible that, you know, Infinity Ward's working on Modern Warfare Roman numeral 3 right now, and maybe Bruh. they're going to have their hands full with that, and instead of having all hands on deck for this massive update to Modern Warfare 2 towards the end of 2023, you know, maybe they're just, you know, relegating Sledgehammer Games to make them do it, you know, have them remaster the maps bring back the maps handle the live updates and operations and, and the funniest yeah pump the brakes pump the brakes pump the brakes and the funniest thing here is that it's apparently apparently okay everybody everybody okay silence for a second it's apparently sledgehammer my balls making that things like that cannot. and just call it a day hey, yo, we don't know as of right now i mean it's very vague obviously but this is what happens during those annual investors reports they like to give their shareholders a glimpse of what is to come in the future without going into too much detail oh, wow. because as long as there's a bit of vagueness to everything you know they can make a bunch of changes and still do whatever they want to do while also getting their investors and their fan base excited about the future so that's the reason why they just simply say an annual premium release a full annual premium release so i don't know man Bruh. maybe they're just gonna full-on remaster something like black ops 3. i know a lot of people would like to see that happen maybe black ops one. Maybe they're going to remaster the original Modern Warfare 2 after all these years. Seems unlikely, but maybe they're going to do that. I can see them hedging their bets with a full remaster. I think I should cover that here in this video as well. I can see that happening. But at this day and age, how connected we are with everything, it really seems like if they were in the works of remastering a game like Black Ops yeah, 2, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about campaign saying. multiplayer zombies, adding on to it like they did with Modern Warfare Remastered back in 2016. If they were doing that, and it's supposed to release, you know, in eight months, nine months. I feel like we would have heard about that by yep, now. Yep, you know what yep. I mean? Like, I feel like we would have... 100%, 100%. That's a great point, honestly. Uh, like, if Black Ops 2, a game the size of Black Ops 2, if that was supposed to happen, we would have probably heard it by now. We would have probably heard it years ago. It's not that it cannot happen. It, it might... Pro it's probably gonna happen eventually one day will happen when they are, are sick and tired of warzone 2 when, when they are not making more money than god when they're not making money from warzone 1 and warzone 2 warzone 1 is a thing of a past right now it's all about warzone 2 but if they're if, if one day it turns out that they're not making uh, uh, extra billion you know if they, they if they start itching you know i need a, i need a, i need an extra billion today guys uh, uh, i need an extra billion if they if a day comes when they feel like they need a need an extra billion or two billions three billions that's when they're gonna plan to remaster black ops 2 okay drop a thumbs up if you agree have heard something about that but we haven't but what we have heard is that modern Bruh. warfare 2 is going to be getting a massive Bruh. expansion that's gonna be bringing back most of the original modern warfare 2 2009 you know but in english in english that looks like that's what's going to be happening of course i'll keep you guys updated as we learn more and maybe as more industry insiders speak up on this because ladies and gentlemen apparently this just happened things got leaked out click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because gta rockstar actually stream and take to stream and they were talking about some gta 6 they touch on the remix uh league gameplay for gta 6 and bunch of other stuff check these videos out guys and i will see you right there